Um, that's my setup here, okay? Uh, that's my older DVOD M80 Pro. That machine does just wonderful work, okay? This is a new DVOD M80 Pro, but it's actually the same model, okay? The only thing is uh, we're charging this model here and we're just about to connect it to the Wi-Fi here at the house and um, let's see what we have. Um, if we want to add a DVOD M80 Pro, so what we do first of all is we have to go to uh, we have to go to the market and get uh, an application. So we have to go to the Play Store. Go to the Play Store. We start looking for Echo Echo Box. Echo, ba Echo Box is the the actual application for this uh, robotic uh, ro robotic. Uh, vacuum cleaner okay so echo box robotics that's what it's called we install that application in my case it's already installed so I don't have to do it again and then from there we open the application okay and we go to the plus here in my case we already have one so th that machine is online by the way uh, my granddaughter gave this machine a name Lily so that's her name the other machine we are still gonna keep it as DBOT M80 because we're still waiting for my grandson to put a name to the second machine. Okay, so we're going to go to the plus sign here and we're going to go to DBOT M80 Pro. So now that we're in DBOT M80 Pro, uh, by the way, these machines, uh, they don't support 5G Wi-Fi, okay? They only support 2.4. So what we need to do is we're going to need to go to my settings and we need to change the Wi-Fi that we're going to use. So we're going to go to... Um, a 2.4 a, uh, a gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi, okay? So that's what we're doing. From there, when it's connected, we'll go back to the application. And now it's going to show the 2.4, showing my uh, password and everything. So we start new setup, okay? And from there, it's telling us to use the remote control. And it says here, uh, press and hold auto, bo auto button auto button on the robot for three seconds okay so we have to go to the machine and hold and hold the auto button for three seconds so we'll do that so it's gonna be one two and three so it's done okay and and the robot a robot will power or will power on Hmm. Okay, well this machine, as you guys can see, it didn't power on because it was on already. So what we're going to try is, we're going to do it again. So we go one, two, three. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it should be on according to this. So then, we have to go to the network. Let's see. We're at the network and we can see here that my Wi Fi is searching right now. Let's see. Now we have Echo Box. Okay. Echo, Echo bo Box underscore 1766. So we connect to that Wi Fi. Okay. So now it says that we're connected. So after that, after we're connected, we'll go back to the application and it says here the robot will power on press and hold the network setup button on the uh, remote control for three seconds oh okay guys so we have to press the remote here and press the actually that's not the remote for that okay we have the remote here and the remote here is going to tell us Okay, we have to press here to set it up, okay? So we have there, there. Now the machine made a noise, okay? So we are pressing that for three seconds. And, and the Wi-Fi is supposed to be fla flashing, let's see. Oh, 
By the way, this is our this is the wrong remote the wrong remote, okay? This remote is for my other machine. So we have to actually unpack the other remote and use the other one, okay? So we'll do that right now. Basically what we need to do is get the other remote and put batteries to it. So don't use the same remote if you have more than one machine. Uh, each machine it has to use their own remote. Okay, so as you guys can see here, basically we're just gonna unpack the batteries and and use a new remote. So the instructions were were good, but it doesn't give you a warning in case you already have an existing machine because that control is actually programmed for that machine. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put batteries to this remote, okay, and we're gonna keep going with the programming. So now the programming is gonna be, we're supposed to be pressing this here. No. Oh. Well guys, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna dis disconnect the other machine, that way the machine doesn't get confused. Okay, we're also gonna turn it off. We're gonna turn off this machine. Okay, this machine is off. So because we're programming this machine, we want this machine on. And this machine is not trying to turn on. Let's see. Okay, machine is on now. So if the machine is on, it says here, press and hold the out button, out button on the robot for three seconds. Okay, and the robot will power on. Press and hold network setup on the remote control for three seconds. So now we go to the control here. Okay, so we're doing a little bit more because if we disconnect the other machine, we don't want the other machine to get confused. So we'll go there. Okay, now we have Wi Fi there. We'll go next, and it's gonna start. It's gonna start searching for the network. By the way, I think this process, if I, if I remember from the last time, it is slow. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video. That way, uh, we don't spend all this time just waiting for this. Okay, so let's see. You see there? It's just uh, right now. It's just. Uh, searching for the network and let me stop this and we'll keep going we'll keep going later because right now it's just uh it's just doing that and it takes a while to uh, to actually find the network and get programmed so we'll stop this and we'll keep going in a little while okay so we'll be back we'll be back in a little while